Hi Aries, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Aries, let's see what you can expect now from the 11th to the 17th of March and I took out a major arcana for you which is the judgment card there is this is like a revival of something happening this week uh, this is the main theme for your week the judgment card in normal tarot decks it shows people coming out from their graves and the universe saying hey we're giving you a second chance at something this is a new life for you a rebirth of something that's going to happen this week so Aries were influenced by the judgment card this week and now let's take out some tarot cards one card for each day monday to sunday and then we'll clarify them all right spirit 11th to the 17th for my aries gang what can they expect what is this new life or revival that's happening in their life this week judgment let me put this card here you can see it and feel this beautiful blue energy Okay, so Monday, Tuesday, see, justice and judgment, my God, this is some good karma coming your way with the eight of wands on Monday, so this is a fast forward movement, take time to rest right now Aries, this week is going to be very, very fast moving from what I feel, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, ace of swords, oh my God, death and rebirth, I told you, this is going to be almost like a rebirth, revival death and rebirth with the judgment card with the justice card and for sunday we have the seven of wands okay aries i told you take some time out take some time out uh, do your resting and nesting and even this week i think your entire life is going through some kind of major transformation you may have to kind of listen to yourself or keep yourself to yourself and just it's like a birth when a child is born how i mean immediately the child doesn't come out and start running and dancing and going to school right so this is a painful process sometimes uh, you need care you need self-care you need rest you need to take care of yourself that's what i'm saying so if any of you have been feeling a little low or been feeling things are not moving your way i think the universe is preparing some major changes for you and that's the reason sometimes it's like you know when you have a bow and arrow aries and then you have to like shoot your arrow first you have to pull back and the harder you pull back the more taut that you know wire is the further the arrow is going to go it's like that. So if you have been resting or you have been feeling that things have been slow lately, the universe has been doing that for a reason. There is a, a revival coming into your life big time. All right. So before I start clarifying these cards here, Aries, let's also take an affirmation card. Let's see what you should affirm to yourself. So you have a wonderful week ahead. Aries. Aries affirmation spirit from the 11th to the 17th of March. Here it is. And the first card here, Aries says, understanding. I seek an understanding of myself and my life. Early when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I also got the high priestess as your major arcana. So that means you have to spend a lot of time with yourself, connecting with your spirit guides. Just this is like a person who's nesting and resting before they start to kind of race forward. Okay. Okay. So the angel guidance is to examine yourself and your current situation in depth so that you can have a clear awareness of the underlying reasons for your challenges and situations. Acquaint yourself with facts, with situations and attitudes before you take decisions. Self-awareness is a necessary foundation which to build strong relationships, friendships and work. Understanding your personality is the basis for understanding your spiritual self and your mission on earth. Ask the angels to help you. I seek an understanding of myself and my life. So make sure you spend a lot of time with yourself as well, Aries. Of course, by Monday I do see there is a lot of movement. There is a lot of communication back and forth. Let's see what this is about. So um, Monday, Spirit. What's, what's Monday for Aries? 
death and rebirth again okay so there is some news coming towards you on monday which is going to be transformative it's going to change your life this is a this is a week of major transformations happening to in in your life aries i have the death card the death and rebirth card twice with the judgment card and both cards say the same thing okay so tell me about this what is this rebirth there's a transformation and release okay tell me about the eight eight of wands give me more spirit eight of wands nine of cups whatever this transformation is is going to make you very happy this is a very good change coming into your life which well it's going to end up in the nine of cups i mean normal tarot decks you know you'll see somebody jumping with joy um throwing all their nine cups in the air and saying uh, i've managed to make all my dreams and wishes come true so there is some communication which you can expect on monday which will be the beginning of this transformation for you nine of cups by tuesday you'll feel yeah my life is okay now things are in balance what is the justice card for tuesday spirit what's the justice card three of swords okay three of swords ace of wands i have the ace of wands twice here as well and ace of uh, wands are aries suit right so ace of wands is like end of heartbreak end of the painful cycle three of swords is a card of pain and you know when things never used to go well and this is like yes now the scales have been balanced and I, now i can start a passionate brand new journey in my life get that excitement back um feeling on top of the world jumping with joy three of wands you're replacing the three of swords with the three of wands which is great three of wands is like yes your ships are finally coming in you've been waiting you've been working really really hard i think aries and maybe you haven't been seeing the fruits of your labor right uh, in a uh, no, normal decks you'll see a picture of a person who's standing with three wands and facing the ocean or the sea or something where three ships are coming towards that and it's taking the longest time when will my ships arrive not realizing that those three barren wands that that person has all he has little little leaves growing on them so maybe you don't even realize that all the progress you've already made is what is the catalyst for these ships coming in okay so that's nice so what happens on wednesday then spirit what's the seven of uh, pentacles seven of pentacles the world you're ending a chapter of disappointment by wednesday you feel that past chapter is totally closed you're starting a brand new one aries uh, this is when you'll be planting your seeds for stability for the future this is like um, this person is planting a little plant and the roots have started to grow maybe you haven't been seeing them for a little while but now you see them sprouting right so yes now you, on wednesday you'll finally feel yes that old chapter seems to be have shut down where is the pain where is the you know disappointment that's all a thing of the past i mean everything has started to move in my favor you're starting a brand new chapter that's why this is like death card twice here death and rebirth with the judgment card and the justice card this is a card i mean these cards represent good karmic rewards Okay so 8 of pentacles on Thursday spirit 8 of pentacles king of cups four of swords and the tower okay aries maybe you've been like the same thing i was saying earlier right maybe in the past you've been doing a lot of work this is like non stop at it morning and night consistent effort being made uh i think uh, by thursday you'll finally go into a little bit of healing energy where you'll be giving to yourself uh, i think thursday is going to be a day when you finally take a little time out go into your high priestess energy sit down and meditate or maybe just have a glass of wine and watch netflix whatever floats your boat aries king of uh, cups to the queen of cups this is a card of just loving caring um you know feeling your emotions feeling balanced giving yourself self care this sudden change that is going to come into your life aries it's going to it's going to have to have you in your best of emotional and physical health 
so i have a feeling by thursday thursday is like one one day that i think out of all these days that you finally saying okay i'm going to prepare now i'm going to prepare for the next brand new life that i'm going into because right the next day on friday i have the ace of wands there is something exciting happening on friday aries uh, when friday comes do let me know okay so friday ace of wands what's coming up for aries on the weekend beginning friday ace of wands what's the ace of wands one more and one more ace of wands ace of cups oh my god i told you you're starting a brand new chapter of your life this is the ace of cups ace of wands chariot your chariot arrives on uh, friday aries <laughs> this is like 10 swords are done i'm starting with the aces now what happens in tarot we have the 10 10 wands and the 10 pentacles and the 10 aces whatever all the 10s after 10 there is no 11 then we have to start a new chapter with the ones and that is exactly what i was sensing on thursday it's like you're preparing okay i'm going to take thursday off because friday some way or sixth sense tells you you have to be at your very very best i mean the ace of wands ace of cups some of you could be traveling somebody some maybe some uh, could just doesn't have to be physical travel maybe some things are beginning you're feeling good you're starting something new maybe somebody is coming towards you with some good news that is something that makes you extremely extremely happy on friday aries and it's going to be making you feel excited about life once again okay so saturday spirit what's the death and rebirth it just keeps showing up thrice or four times i think already in this reading that aries is going through a huge transformation this week what is this what's the death and rebirth page of pentacles okay that is okay one minute one more let's get all the cards king of pentacles and knight of swords very quick movement it's see the from the page to the knight to the king and the seven of wands i th i think there's going to be sudden movement coming towards you aries i told you this is the fool card again an aries card right you're going to be taking a leap of faith into a brand new chapter of your life and things are going to speed up so quickly you probably will have to start saying no to a few things i mean look at this from the page this is the page to the knight to the king of pentacles pentacles is like something you can touch see uh, something which is rooted maybe you coming into some financial success or some good news where money is concerned it's, i think there's going to be so much movement coming on in on the weekend i do see you kind of uh, having to create some boundaries and say enough <laughs> enough you know i'm a little baby i've just started don't overwhelm me because on sunday i see you in the same energy as well it's like please i mean look at all these seven wands coming towards this person and this person is saying thank you for the offers but you know what i have to say no to a few of them i need my energy okay so tell me about this uh, sunday seven of wands what's the seven of wands five of wands yes people will be people will be in your business trying to get your attention clamoring for your attention and yes it is i think uh, maybe giving you offers of something that's going to be very tangible i mean look at this gift coming towards uh, uh, you aries this is like please please can i have a, a moment with you we're willing to give you this we're willing to give you that whatever this may be and six of pentacles is a card of equal give and take it's like people want something from you but they're willing to give it back to you and you there may be multiple offers coming in on the weekend and you may just have to refuse a few of them this could be like if you're a freelancer you get like suddenly you know start getting news that um maybe after a period of waiting and you've taken your time to heal and you feel yeah i mean things have been slow or something when will my ships coming suddenly on the weekend i but i think by friday is when the real action begins okay tell me more about sunday spirit tell me more about sunday why the seven of wands emperor yes i mean who doesn't want the emperor's attention aries an emperor is an aries suit 
So we have the full card which is number 1 right till the emperor. 0 to 100. It's that, that, that way. Whatever this brand new beginning, whatever this uh, new chapter of your life is, it's going to put you on such a high pedestal that you will have to be uh, creating a little boundaries because, oh, yes, this is the nine of wands. It's like, um, yeah, you know, I've worked really hard for what I want, but I can only do so much. So I need to keep my guard up. I need to build that fortress around myself to take care of me. Aries, please gather up all your courage, all your strength, all your sleep, nest a little bit. I mean, Monday is right here, right? So there is going to be a major rebirth coming into your life. Let's see. Let's see if the universe will give us something for the judgment card as well. What's the judgment? Uh, why is the judgment card here for my Aries gang for the 11th to the 17th spirit? What's the judgment card? What's the judgment card for Aries? Four of Wands, long-term partnership, stability, home, hearth, feeling secure. Maybe this is something that you've been waiting for for a very long time. Maybe this could be commitment. This could be an offer of love. This could be an offer of a new business. Something which is going to have long-lasting, uh, you know, results. Something that maybe you've been wishing and praying for. After a period of maybe feeling in lack or feeling left out in the cold and feeling I'll never have enough. If you've been praying for something Aries, this is the week where one major, major wish of yours comes true. This is a week of good karma for you. Claim it. Should we take an angel blessing card as well? I normally don't for the week ahead but today I feel like taking one for you. So tell me my angels, what's the blessing for my Aries gang? Uh, from the 11th to the 17th of March. Sweetness. You know, Aries, and bottom of my deck, I also have the pause card. If your life has been on pause or you've been waiting for some results, give yourself that time. Give yourself some time to rest and recuperate and be good to yourself. There is a lot of sweetness coming into your life soon and action is going to start extremely, extremely soon. I think by the end of the week, you will be overloaded with action. So take some time out. All right. So that's what I have for you. Till next time then, Aries. Love and light. Take care. Namaste.